Fast forward to March 3rd of 2011, about eight years ago, and I was uh, at an all-day training session in Cleveland, Ohio. It's about two hours north of Columbus, and I'd driven up early that morning, and I got there a little bit late, so I ended up parking towards the top of the parking garage. Well, I did get um, I did get my meeting and everything, and did the training, but towards the end of the training, the slides started to get blurry. You know, kind of one of those things where, like your conferences here, I'm sure, after a little while, you just kind of get tired, you need a break. So that's, I thought, what I needed. I just needed a break. I didn't take a break. I stayed and, you know, worked through it. So everything was fine. But then the uh, training session got over, and I walked out. And, I mean, I had no idea how to get back to my car, but thank goodness I had one of those little tickets. So I did get back to my car, and at least to the parking garage, and I knew where I parked because I'd gotten there late. So I went up to the top, and there she was. My 2011 Ford Taurus, fully loaded. I bought it two weeks prior to all this happening. It had a backup camera. It had auto collision control. It had blind spot detection. Blind spot detection. That's something that I've become very familiar with, and I need an awful lot, not only physically, but mentally as well. Well, I got in my car and everything looked like it was right on top of me. So if I looked into my rear view mirror, it was almost like the cars were right next to me and I, I couldn't understand that. But when I put it in reverse, you know, the backup camera showed that I did have room to back out. Well, I backed out and everything was fine. No bells went off, so I was fine. And then I'm heading down these seven floors of this park garage. And I couldn't believe how difficult it was because all the cars were so close. And there were so many people behind me and they were honking and they were giving me words of encouragement. <laughs> I, I don't know what it was, but it was great because they were on my side, right? Well, I did get down, down to the bottom and finally, and I met my new nemesis, the toll booth. I hate those things, because I always seem to get too close to them or not close enough, and it's, I mean, it's a good thing I have those, um, uh, what are they called, uh, dis disposable mirrors? <laughs> well, they're not really disposable, but they could be, because I've, I've had a few of them replaced. Well, then I got back, finally got through the tool booth, and everything seemed to go okay, and then when I got on the road, I realized, like a ding-dong, I... I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know how to get back to the interstate. So when I got to the next stoplight, I used another one of the new features on my new car, and I hit the home button. Don't we all need to do that at times? Just hit the home button. Well, I did that, and it got me back to the interstate. Made my way to the interstate, and I'm, and I'm driving. I. Uh, I stopped at every rest area. I mean, I would be rubbing my eyes, not sure what was going on. I'd call Connie, and uh, I'd say, Connie, uh, I don't know um, what's going on. I'm just tired. I'm going to sleep for a little bit, and then I'll get back on the road. Well, I'd get frustrated because I couldn't get back to sleep, and I couldn't get to sleep, and uh, I'd get back on the road. This is the point where I have to confess to you that the last place that I should have been was on the road. Because my biggest blind spot was sitting in the driver's seat. But I just wanted to be home. So after four hours of that two-hour car ride, I did get home. 